It's a little video about putting a dog into a neutral or counterbalanced or even a variable axle cart for the first time. The important thing is to make this adjustment to the support strap, which is the strap here. This strap acts like a sling to help take weight off the front end. So the first time you put the dog in the cart, you need to take the cover off and you need to take off the little Velcro lock that keeps the support strap from sliding back into an inappropriate spot. You want the, the, the this support strap should be as close to the dog's armpit as is comfortable. And then what you want to do is you want to release all the Velcro on it so that it's not attached to the other side. Then you're going to put the dog in the wheelchair. This is little Finch. He works here. He has a neutral balanced cart because when we, we got him, he had elbows that were luxating and we didn't want to add any tongue weight to the front of his cart. So I'm putting him in the cart. I'm putting the pull pins in. I'm buckling the chest strap. And you can see the yoke is about an inch above his shoulder blades and the chest strap is on his throat, which is very uncomfortable. And the side rails aren't level. So then you take the end of your support strap and you put your finger under the yoke and you pull down and reattach the support strap so that the yoke is resting on your finger, not on the dog. That makes it neutral. And then you, you've got it. Then what I suggest you do is take the dog out again and put your locks on, your Velcro locks and your neoprene cover. And if you've done this once the right way, you never have to do it again. So then you would just take your Velcro lock. It's a little T of Velcro. Slide the tongue over and then bring the sides around to lock it in place. Put your neoprene cover back on and you're all set. Right, Finch? So it's very important that the yoke be as close to the dog's withers as possible without putting any pressure on them and that the chest strap be loose enough so that as the dog walks forward they can stretch out and their spine can lengthen so the dogs that are roaching um, actually will decompress their spine and they'll get longer and flatter. That's all there is to it. Thanks.